Hello Fall Off fans, it's been a couple weeks here, but I got quite a bit done on a suit here. Got all the uh, backpack stuff pretty much finished up, got all this uh, buttoned up pretty well, ready for the finished work and small details. So this is basically a T60 backpack now. Over here, I'm working on the pauldrons, got them a little bit fleshed out, basically just made a form, heated the foam. Pressed it on there. Cools down, holds the shape. So we'll see, that's uh, it's kind of a first run. We'll see what it looks like. Over here, I got the new PLC installed. Basically same size as the other one, just has additional capacity. Had to shoehorn in another terminal strip because I needed a place to land the new inputs and outputs. So there's that. So let me button this thing up here. We'll see if it works or not. All right, this will be my first uh, test drive here. Let's see what happens. Like it unlocked. Seems to be working, at least the basics. My big concern was that because these arms were bigger on the bottom, I'd have problems hitting this chest piece. I kind of like the uh, snack trough here, but it does seem to be affecting mobility a little bit. So we'll see what happens. It'll probably be all right. I don't expect I'll be doing uh, playing volleyball in this thing. So let me uh, climb out of this thing. didn't even fall over. I call that a success. All right, so that's about it with the suit. I'll keep plugging away here. I will see you guys on that next week. Uh, a few people have inquired about a shop tour. So I guess I'll give you the nickel tour here real quick. I'll just, basically it's a big circle. I'll just start at the corner and work my way around. Here's the fallout collection, mostly boxes, a few things in it. Uh, bandsaw, sander, big bandsaw. This is actually, believe it or not, a functional machine shop. I just don't have a whole lot of work, so I entertain myself other ways. A few posters from uh, a couple different vacations. Over here is uh, basically a marble table, layout equipment. When you're scribing lines on metal, it's good to have a good accurate thing to do that. So that's what that's for. Over here is a milling machine. Digital readouts makes it nice to know where you're making your cuts. Small lathe over here. Same deal, got the digital readouts on it. Good for small work, which is mostly all I do. Down here we've got an arbor press. This is used for putting bearings into things, pressing shafts, uh, fixing annoying printers sometimes. So takes care of that. Up here, I found out if you're hanging around the GameStop at the right time, you can score some free loot, so that's pretty cool. Over here is a few vacations I've been on back in the day. Down here, what do we got here? That looks like the control schematic for the Mark I. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Over here, some game posters, Fallout stuff, Subnautica, more Fallout stuff, some StarCraft stuff. This thing here is a service grinder. I rarely use it, but I have that ability if I need it. Over here is another bigger milling machine with readouts. Same deal, I don't clean a whole lot as you can probably tell. Back in the corner, I got my uh, Comic-Con nerd stuff, different cons I've been to, a few cosplay awards, things like that. Uh, Steel City, Dragon Con, Couple other smaller cons up there, Team Teco. Uh, not speaking of cons, here's uh, Daphne Zuniga from uh, Spaceballs. 
Walter Cohen, Star Trek and Babylon 5. Trisha Helfer, Babylon, or Battlestar Galactica, rather. If you don't remember her, think Red Dress. That'll jog your memory a little bit. Nichelle Nichols, Lieutenant Uhura from Star Trek. Such a nice lady. I had a good time talking to her. My very first Dragon Con with the Nuka Girls. That was a lot of fun. And of course, then we got Claudia Christian from Babylon 5. And the man himself, William Shatner. Met him down in Pittsburgh at Teco one year. That was pretty sweet. So that's about it for the nerd Comic Con stuff. Here is a few anime posters, a few figurines. Darling in the Franks has been one of my favorites. Uh, enjoyed My Hero Academia. Uh, enjoyed Samurai Jack. Enjoyed Overlord. My latest one is uh, Love After World Domination. I laughed myself to tears watching this one. It was really a great show. Moving along. I had the privilege of getting on the Nimitz for a Tiger Cruise one year. So I started getting a little bit of Navy merch. You can see that over there. Got a TV out here. I put on some uh, YouTube music videos, whatever. I'm out here working, get bored. A couple of drill presses. Those are kind of self-explanatory. I decided to build myself a model Starship. Then I decided that maybe the booster would be nice. And then I kept going, decided to build the launch stand in the entire uh, launch tower. Then I got bored and decided to automate it like the real one down in Boca Chica. So I did all that. But then I swiped some parts off it so it's not working at the moment. Here's a couple pics from uh, Starship launches. I actually went down to Boca Chica right after Starship 11 blew up. I was really hoping to get a piece of jagged stainless steel wreckage, but turns out all I ended up finding was this stupid seashell here. So, so much for that. Speaking of the beach, I was in Jacksonville recently and had a little idea with some seashells. So here's the Jacksonville inspired power armor design. I got a kick out of it. Hopefully you will too. So that's about it, my friends. I will be back at it. Probably have another video next week. Till then, ad victorum.